Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island and my top 10 favorite episodes from season two. So if you want to pause the video right now, look up all the episodes, you can easily look up Gilligan's Island season two episode list and they should come up with all the episodes from Gilligan's Island from season two and then you can kind of follow along. Let me tell you, I did have a hard time coming up with the list because there are so many good episodes in season two. In fact, I would say out of the total 32 episodes, close to, I don't know, 28, 29 of them are amazing episodes and only about, I don't know, five or so, three to five are just ones that I don't like. So there are very few of them that I don't like. So the hard part is choosing the best out of those 32, essentially the top 10. So if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's start with number 10 and work our back way backwards. Number 10 for me is Forward March. Now in this one, we have an apparent siege on the island, but in fact, it's not really headhunters or anyone like that. It's a gorilla. Now, the gorilla finds a World War II cache of weapons, arms, and he hurls grenades at the survivors, and the survivors, the castaways, thinks it's like a huge invasion force that is coming. And it's really cool because even the ending scene, I really love it. It's a happy-go-lucky episode. A lot of fun things happen, even when we're, you know, everyone, all the castaways decide, oh my gosh, we have to arm ourselves. We have to fight back. And so, you know, the Mr. Howell becomes like a general and Gilligan gets literally a scratch on his elbow on his arm and they send him to quote-unquote the infirmary. And Mrs. Howell is the nurse with Ginger singing as entertainment. It's, I don't know, just a good episode. And then seeing Gilligan with the gorilla launch grenades into essentially the pond or, you know, the lagoon is essential. So if you haven't seen that episode, check it out. That is my number 10. Moving on to number nine, the episode is called The Friendly Physician with Dr. Boris Balenkoff. Now, Dr. Boris Balenkoff is not so friendly because he tries to trick all the castaways into coming to his island, his own mansion. And yeah, he absolutely does that. And his aim, his essentially goal is to switch brains. He's a mad scientist and he switched brains of one with the other. He switches Skipper's brain with Mrs. Howe. He switches Gilligan's brain with someone else and vice versa. I mean, even Ginger with the muscly bodyguard of Balenkoff and it's crazy it's a zany episode but it's so much fun seeing him come on the island and just mess with the castaways and it's the first time we really see the castaways off the island so that's why it is my number nine my number eight choice is Gilligan gets bugged apparently Gilligan gets bitten by a bug and Skipper and the professor think that is the deadly Mandis Kani, or is it the Kanis Mandi, according to what Mr. Howell says. But anyway, this bug is supposed to kill you after it bites you in 24 hours. You succumb to its bite. And so everyone's freaking out on the island, trying to get a remedy to save poor Gilligan. But they find out that the bug isn't really deadly at all. It's another bug that doesn't really do anything to you. They all get bitten, but nothing happens to them. It's an episode which they think everything bad is going to happen, but nothing bad happens, which is why I like it. I usually don't like like negativity or sadness or death or, you know, like any type of tragedy in this show or any of those episodes I really don't like. But when it's happy go lucky like this, I absolutely love it. Now compare this to my number seven pick. I absolutely love this. Don't mess or don't bug. The mosquitoes. Now it's great because we have the band, the mosquitoes coming on the island. Bingo, Bango, Bongo, and Irving. And it's just a great episode. You know, they're a play off of the Beatles, obviously, and they play for the castaways. Gilligan and Marianne go crazy for the mosquitoes. And it's just a fun episode. I mean, these guys are trying to get away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. They get on the island, finding the castaways. And then the castaways are trying to get off the island, trying to have the mosquitoes bring them off the island. But the mosquitoes don't really want that because they're just trying to rest and relax. And so the boys make make their own band even the girls make their own band and that scares the mosquitoes away and they leave everyone on the island it's a crazy episode but i think one that everyone just has to absolutely love if you watch it v for vitamins is such a good episode it's my number six pick because it's essentially a story of gilligan's island meets 
Jack and the Beanstalk. They have some amazing, iconic imagery in this episode. I mean, we see Skipper as a giant, we see Gilligan as Jack, which they actually use Patrick Denver, that's Bob Denver's real life son, as a small version of Gilligan so they could put him next to Alan Hill Jr. make him look huge and it's great we have Marianne in a beautiful maid outfit and then of course the horrible looking Ginger and Professor uh, who are later you know the hope is that they turn into beautiful people after they get kissed and this is all Gilligan's dream because they ran out of oranges they finally do find oranges because they need vitamin c in their body and so forth and so it's a great episode it's a fun episode it's a great dream sequence one of my favorites of the entire series and one that I know you probably love too Please, please, please let me know your list in the comments below if you think I missed any of the top 10 or, th or you freak out because you say, Rick, why didn't you put this one in the top 10? Um, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And remember, this is my list. Everyone will have a different list, but this is what I love. So if we continue, you've been disconnected. This is a fun episode for me because a phone line wire basically washes on the island and the castaways are able to telephone off the island and they call to all these different people, all these different situations. It's kind of silly. I mean, he's trying to use this cable to phone them a rescue and all these zany fun things happen. And again, it's a great episode and it's one that I really love. It makes me feel really good because it feels like they're just on the island, nice and cozy, and they're just trying to call everyone. And it's just fun. It's a really zany idea and everything reverts to normal at the end of the episode. But like I said, it is so much fun to watch. My number four pick is Operation Steam Heat. This is a good one because Gilligan finds an underground source of hot water. Now that's great because he can pipe it into the huts and essentially people can have hot showers, wash the dishes, like all these great things with hot water, right? But that means that hot water comes from somewhere from volcanic activity and they have a volcano that's about to erupt and essentially kill all the castaways so the professor is freaking out he makes a bomb to kind of throw into the volcano to try to destroy it but i really like this episode even though there's a bit of doom and gloom it's really fun to see everyone fight over the hot water but in a silly way and gilligan struggled to bring him the hot water i think the idea is just kind of fun it's zany there's a lot of cartoonish essentially scenes in the episode which i absolutely love and it's just so much fun to watch it i can watch this over and over again who cannot love this episode? Mine Hero, where, of course, a World War II mine washes up on the island. Gilligan thinks he catches a fish, but it's a mine, and it's tick, 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 ticking, and everyone is freaking out, thinking it's the end of the world. It's going to explode and blow up the island. So what do they try to do? The boys try to deactivate the island, not the island, the mine, while it's on the island with the help of the professor and Gilligan. They try to demagnetize themselves, but of course... Unfortunately, Gilligan has his necklace, which gets attached to the actual mine. And then Mr. Howe has this gold watch, but it's not really gold. It's gold plated. So it's this inferior metal that is attracted to the mine. And it's just a zany episode. It's so much fun to watch. It's one of those episodes that I can watch over and over again. And it's just so much fun. It's super funny and it is really well written. We are truly coming to the best of the best, in my opinion. How can you forget Smile? You're on Mars camera. I mean, that's a play off of Candid Camera, of course. It's episode four, and it's an absolute amazing episode. Chicken people from Mars, right? And what's that chicken doing to the other chicken? I think he's trying to force him to lay an egg. What a great like piece of script of dialogue where essentially a camera from NASA that's supposed to land on Mars lands on the island. It fails and it lands on the island and they think that the huts and the people, the castaways are like aliens on Mars. And it's just like a misunderstanding, which is essentially what a sitcom is. And then we have the crazy feathers. It's just like everything comes together. The script is so well written. There's a reason for the feathers. Then there's a reason for the glue that gets stuck on the castaways. There's a reason for the feathers to get stuck on the glue. And then the Mars NASA people think, oh my gosh, there is chicken people on Mars. It's just a funny line. It's just like sweet innocence. And it's such a fun ride, the episode. You could truly watch it over and over again and never get tired of it. It is so good. In my opinion, the number one episode of season two of Gilligan's Island, my favorite is called Quick Before It Sinks. I mean, such an easy and simple premise. The professor believes 
that the island is sinking. And so everyone freaks out. All the guys are freaking out, trying to raise the huts to a higher ground on the island so that they don't all drown in a couple days. They don't want to tell the girls, but the girls have a crazy idea. They don't know anything about it. They want to redecorate the island. So the boys at night are rebuilding the huts, and in the day they're decorating the island, moving rocks and palm trees, and they're just super exhausted until the girls find out, and then they come up with a plan to save themselves, to make sure that they don't drown on the island. The Essentially, a professor builds like a raft, and they could get on the raft and kind of see if that they can ride the waves on this raft. And it's just a funny scene with Gilligan and Skipper on the makeshift test raft, and they're swinging back and forth. They're trying to see if they could live life on this kind of Noah's Ark kind of thing. And it's so silly because they're so comedic. They're so inept. They're just rolling around. It's a great time to watch some physical comedy of the show. The best of Alan Hill Jr. and Bob Denver together on camera, in my opinion. Some of the best work that they have is in Quick Before It Sinks. So have I missed an episode? Again, there's so many good ones. Ghost to Go Go, Will the Real, Mr. Howell, Please Stand Up, Gilligan's Mother-in-Law, so many good episodes, but these are my top 10 favorites. Let me know your list down below. Thank you so much for supporting me as always, and most importantly, everyone, don't forget to always be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons, Russ C, Sally N, Vito L, Citizen Kane 359, David D, Jerry D, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you want to join this list and be a patron supporter, it does help out so much, and I thank you ahead of time. 